why so many people decide to photograph in black and white. Everything what we see in front of us is in color, right? I'm walking now uh, towards the woods and, uh, you know, I see green, I see orange, I see yellow, I see black, I see white. The sky is blue. Still, even landscape photographers, so many of them, excellent photographers, work in black and white. What makes it so appealing? Let's give it a moment. I think one of the reasons we decide to explore the world in black and white, you know, through our photography, is the fact that it actually becomes abstract. Photography, you know, uh, years, years ago started in black and white because there was no other possibility available. You know, the first rolls of film were black and white. Naturally, it was the only way of capturing the, the world on a photograph. And this black and white era lasted, you know, for, for several decades, almost became a natural thing. Uh, there was nothing special, there was nothing weird about a photograph being black and white. There was, there was no other option, there was no other, you know, alternative. And uh, it lasted for, for so long and it, you know, it, it continued for such a long time that uh, we simply just uh, react to it as, as, as to something completely natural, you know, completely normal. Now, when color photography came along, um, many people got fascinated by the possibility of capturing, you know, the world actually as it is in front of our eyes. But still many photographers decided to continue uh, their work in black and white and many of new photographers also made decision to start working in black and white. Me myself, you know, I kind of like to photograph mostly in black and white and I think what makes me kind of addicted to this style is the fact that it's actually a bit abstract. When shooting in black and white I concentrate on, on the shape, on the line, even more than when, I, when I'm shooting in color. But there is also something about the mood, of course, itself. Um, a black and white photograph, for my taste, becomes more intimate, more concentrated, more feels closer when I'm looking at it. it and it does not matter if it's a landscape or, or a still life photograph or a portrait, there is something about what a black and white photograph conveys or, or the way it, you know, influences me as a viewer that I feel closer. I often look at photographs of one of my personal gurus, you know, uh, favorite photography artist, Michael Kenna. And those of you familiar with Michael Kenna's work will know that he shoots predominantly, if not, you know, exclusively in a in a black and white square format. Now, when I imagine these scenes from Michael Kenna's photographs, exactly the same, you know, uh, frames, composed in an exactly the same way, but presented in color, for me personally, they would not impress me so much. Sure, they would be still great photographs, no, no doubt about it, but uh, but them being black and white takes them to this another level. And it's mainly mainly about my emotional response, you know, to those images. I don't know about you, you know, um, about your preferred style or you know genre of photography but uh, try this experiment go out there you know shoot whatever you might be shooting uh, be it portraits landscapes you know architecture street photography and uh, photograph in color and i am talking of course about digital mainly because this experiment is much easier done when using a digital camera so you can shoot in color go back home download the images on your computer open the editing program and uh, compare them you know look at the at the color version of your image and then convert it to black and white and uh, and look at the same image you know maybe side by side observe your emotional response write you know notes write about why and how did you react to both color and uh, and black and white version one thing i mentioned in uh, in my previous video i guess was the fact that for me the most colorful you know scenarios and surroundings those places where you know where there is so many colors around me they kind of inspire me or provoke my you know creative mind to to deliberately photograph them in black and white so to get rid of the colors and uh, it's just so fascinating for me you know to start seeing what happens when the colors go away and uh, I stay only with shapes and with the lines and only with the with the light you know in my in my frame it's truly a fascinating experience to finish this this short black and white rambling kind of video uh, I want to run an experiment myself I'm standing in front of a 
beautiful scene. It's a beautiful day, you know, sun is shining and I have a beautiful, you know, woods just in front of me, a, a kind of a landscape scene. Let me take this photo, both in color and black and white, and I will present it just here in this video. Let me know what you think. What's your emotional response? Why and which of those two shots you prefer? Let me know in the comments and uh, love having you here with me on this channel and I will see you in the next video. Take care.